Nashville's been challenged again and again and again. We've experienced, uh, you know, 100-year floods, uh, tornadoes. This is just another thing that we are, I guess, used to coming together and putting forward our best efforts to persevere. Faro Technologies is here joining ESA. We're here in downtown Nashville, particularly uh, Second Avenue. We're doing an entire 3D modeling of First, Second, Third, and Fourth Avenue and Broadway of where the disaster occurred in 2020 on uh, Christmas Day. After the explosion, it was just amazing how many people came out of the city to volunteer and to help offer their services. And it's something that we always see in Nashville. ESA has been around uh, Nashville for over 60 years now. So when there are times of crisis, we look it upon ourselves as our civic duty to reach out and use the resources that we may have to help out. We now have this great opportunity to make things better for the city. It's great that Faro's here to help us get that good first step. We got Faro and the ESA team down here laser scanning for historic preservation, trying to give the city a good representation of what's here in Nashville at the moment with our buildings and where they sit. These scanners we can capture up to a thousand feet away. It's very accurate. We're talking millimeter accuracy here. It has a color camera on board so we can capture a lot of detail, not just the shape of the street, but the colors. So we can generate a, a really nice looking visual 3D color point cloud. With these 3D scanners that we have, they shoot millions of little lasers out to everybody and records actual pinpoint locations of what is physically in this space. And that really becomes important to us as designers, planners. The true essence of preservation is really understanding what's there. This is the best way to do that. Typically, it takes a long time for someone to come and maybe model or traditionally measure, you know, what's here. In one day, we could come and do almost 9,000 lineal feet of roadway. We can laser scan and have accuracy up to 0.027 inches with Pharaoh's equipment to allow us to be able to have a representation of, of what's actually here. And that's the big thing. You can't do that with traditional methods of someone measuring and coming and trying to draw this. What it will effectively allow us to do is to take the physical environment and allow us to quickly document. We can effectively trace buildings, windows, doors, now that this is all digitized and, be, and able to be brought into our software. This builds a three-dimensional model of downtown and really understands X, Y, and Z of that virtual access. We now have this great opportunity to make things better for the city. It's great that Pharaoh's here to help us get that good first step. The historic buildings, they were built in the 1800s and we don't have a lot of records. And so we do the best we can with whatever files and photos that we have, but to have an accurate record, an accurate scan is really invaluable. And we'll use it over and over as we work on Second Avenue in the years to come. The great thing about our 3D solutions is that it preserves as-built documentations for a lifetime. Because over time, things deteriorate. And you know, whether if it's Mother Nature or disasters, those things tend to take away from, from the history. And to help preserve that history whenever possible and help to rebuild it and to have that information at hand really helps you know, the historical preservation effort. To be able to get this many scanners out here to do multiple blocks, I'm not sure how it would ever possibly have happened without Faro. Being able to come out and support such a, a positive cause, it feels good. We're just honored and, and humbled really to be able to come here and put our effort and our technology at work. There are things that were destroyed here that we can never get back. So when we're scanning this area, it's not just about here's what the building looks like. Here's what the building looks like in context of what's across the street, what the, the grade changes are, how wide is the sidewalk, where are there utilities in the, in the road. We can't just think about Second Avenue as individual buildings that happen to line up next to one another. It was a district that was impacted on Christmas morning. This gives us designers something that we can work from, but it also gives the city a tremendous amount of information and power to be able to make great decisions moving forward. We call Nashville home. The last thing we want to do is lose all this architecture and understanding of, of where we came from. I'm very humbled to be a part of anything that gives back to this city. The city's been extraordinarily great to me and my family, so this is nothing compared to uh, uh, what we've gotten out of it. 
this is a great honor. We need to come together in order to help preserve downtowns, keep streets and, and neighborhoods safe. And if our technology can help preserve that and keep that effort moving forward, you know, there's nothing better than that.